Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new 2025 Chevy Equinox. So stay tuned. The 2025 Chevy Equinox is all new. It is similar in size to the previous model as far as wheelbase, length, and height, but it is a little over two inches wider. In my opinion, this gives it a little better looking rugged design, and I can assume that it would help with handling as well with the wider track. Even though it is wider, the turning radius actually decreased down to 37.1 feet versus 38 for the previous model. And in this video, we're going to be taking a little closer look at the uh, mechanical and technical aspect of, the, of this new vehicle. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. Now this is the same engine that was used in the uh, previous model, the 1.5 liter turbo engine. Develops 175 horsepower and 203 foot-pounds of torque in the all-wheel drive version. Now this 203 foot-pounds of torque comes in at under 2,000 RPM. Combine that with the new 8-speed versus the old 6-speed, this vehicle should probably launch off the line pretty well. We'll be performing a 0-60 to 60 test later in this video. This engine has a cast aluminum block and cylinder head, steel crankshaft, and forged powder metal connecting rods, dual overhead cam, and hydraulic roller lifters. Max engine speed, 6,500 RPM. The turbocharger is a single stage, single scroll unit with intercooler and pressure activated wastegate. The turbo is mounted close to the engine exhaust outlet to help turbine spool up and provide a quicker throttle response. This engine in the all wheel drive version holds 5.3 quarts of oil of 0W20. I do like the high capacity. But overall under the hood, there seems to be plenty of room to work on things. Everything seems to be easy to get to. Nice clean look. Well, all right, let's take a look at the uh, underneath this all new vehicle. This new 2025 Equinox sits on an all new platform called the VSS S platform from GM. It is also shared with the uh, Buick Enclave. Now this is one of four new platforms for GM. GM eventually plans to have these four platforms underpin 75% of their new models, with the only exceptions being the dedicated EV platforms and the Corvette. The curb weight of the all-wheel drive version is 3,583 pounds. Now the front-wheel drive version comes with the CVT transmission, and the all-wheel drive comes with what appears to be an all-new 8-speed GM transmission. This new 8-speed transmission is the Hydromatic 8T45, which appears to be similar to the previous 6T45, but with an additional two more gears. Now with the addition of the two extra gears, this allows GM to provide a much higher gear ratio, which provides a feeling of more power and faster takeoff, and an additional overdrive gear which allows better fuel economy at highway speeds and less engine wear. The front suspension is a McPherson strut with specially tuned coil springs, direct acting stabilizer bar, and dual pinion rack electric power steering with a 17.0 to 1 ratio. Oil changes seem to appear to be simple. The drain plug right here, along with the oil filter right next to it. Easy access. The all-wheel drive version, of course, has a transfer case. The rear suspension is a four-link independent. Fuel tank capacity on the all-wheel drive version is 15.6 gallons. 
Now you can get a trailer hitch for this vehicle, but personally I wouldn't recommend towing since it only has a 1500 pound towing capacity. And one last look of the underpinnings before we take it for a test drive. Very clean, nicely laid out. down the highway, 70 miles an hour, 2,000 RPM. Interior noise, about 76 decibels. All right, let's see what that low-end torque and eight-speed transmission does for us in the zero to 60 run. I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.